hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel so this is my paycheck three check-in with you guys obviously it's now the 28th i'm having to record all of these today because i just haven't done this at all i was meant to do my week three check-in and week four check-in but i'm literally going to do my end of budget check-in with you guys and tell you how i've done and i haven't done any um cash envelopes or anything like that but um i will sort that out in a second with you guys so i definitely got paid all of this money here and this was correct so i'm just literally going to put a tick next to it because that bill has already gone out now with my groceries i had a remaining um i only i spent 51 pounds and 17 pence i spent so I had the hundred pound and last week I spent fifty one pound seventeen, which I can remember correctly. And then this week I had to use my bank card because I forgot to take the money with me. But I spent twenty twenty two pound twenty three. So I have left a remaining of twenty six pounds sixty with my credit my grocery budget. But, I will show you something right now, if I can find it. I still have the cash for this week's paycheck. So, I have to go and put all my put the £22.23 back into my bank. But, I'm also going to go and put the rest, the £26.60 left in my bank i'm going to put the whole lot in my bank so i have a plus of 26 pound 60. uh with regards to fuel i spent the first week i spent the whole 40. in the second week i've um this week i've only spent 20 so far but i used my bank card again so i still have the 40 pounds so i'm going to keep 20 for my fuel for the for tomorrow which is today's thursday and i'll need it and i'm going to put the other 20 into my bank so i'm going to have a remaining of zero for that but we'll put both of them together now with regards to my other cash envelopes they are in here so we have obviously grocery zero, fuel zero. We have a personal, which it says zero on here, but I did not do my cash envelopes. I didn't put any money in here, but I do actually have the money. If I can just grab it. So I actually still have 25 pounds for my personal. So this is my personal. We have a remaining of 25 pounds for that but that is going to go into my bank because i need to go and get myself another bullet journal because my bullet journal is nearly full so i need to get one of them so that is remaining but i will have nothing left i then have household i have a remaining still of eight pounds 99 and i do not need anything else for that so I'm going to go and put all of that in my bank as well. All of that I'll come take out and put it in my bank. I'm budgeted. I have a remaining still of the 53 pence. So we have unbudgeted. We have a remaining of 53 pence. Um, we then have entertainment. I did use all that money the other day. So we have a remaining of zero. And then haircuts, we have a remaining of zero because I've used all of that. Now, with regards to my other money, so obviously I normally have an ETN category. I have a remaining of zero because of Missy. I put the change in my, um, I had um, used the rollover money and I had a check in of 35 pence, but I've put it away. Now, with regards to my tips, I am not including them because I've just literally spent what i've spent and i'm now losing money out of it um so that is not going to be included in that guys so that is that is it basically so the money i have literally saved this month from my cash envelopes let's get rid of that so so the money i have saved literally is 26.60 from my 
um, let's get rid of this so I can show you properly because all of this is going to go back into my bank anyway. So let's get let's get this over here so we can show you properly. So we have a remaining of twenty six sixty for my groceries. We also have the eighteen eight ninety nine from my household. We then have the 25 from my personal. We then have the 53 pence oh, yeah, from my unbudgeted. My haircuts is zero. So, so far, I have 61 pound and 12 pence. But, as you remember, I did actually put money away into my other little wallet, which I've got next to me. Which is right here, guys. I have all of this change here. So we have, um, let's have a look. <coughs> um, we have the 16 pounds from groceries, which is in here from the other week. We also then have the three pound 51 from my personal. Um, which we um, did put a star next to saying I was going to put that in my other bank and then we also had the 35 pence from my um, eating out um, category so let me just move that back over here so with regard oh I've just got rid of it <laughs> I'm going to have to do it again Oh, I've done it wrong anyway. I've done it wrong. I said I had twenty six sixty left, but I'm putting fifty in my cart in my bank. I don't know. It's wrong, isn't it? So, oh, it's got to be wrong. Um, because I still got money in here, and I don't know what it's from. I don't know what this is from. I literally put all of my my money into this. Um, envelope, this purse and grocery thing, and just literally forgot what I've done. So I'm just gonna work it out with it. So for a second, because right, so we had, um, so we spent fifty one seventeen on my few groceries. Then we spent twenty two twenty three this week, so that left me with seventy four forty. Take away um, the hundred, so I was twenty six sixty I had left. So I really I needed to put in the whole fifty pound, which is right. So the whole fifty pound needs to go into my bank, but I'm only saving twenty six sixty. So. Twenty six sixty plus eight ninety nine, eight ninety nine plus twenty five plus fifty three plus uh, sixteen. Then it's plus three pound fifty one and plus 35 pence so we are saving if that's correct i can't remember how it was a minute ago we are saving a massive 80 pounds and 98 pence out of this month but obviously i've got 20 40 60 80 that's for my fuel so 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95. I've got 95 pounds to go back into my bank from my cash envelopes, but, um, and obviously this slot here, but I'm managing to save 80 pounds and 98 pence out of my cash envelopes this month, guys, including the money that's in my wallet here. This, uh, this here, I don't know, can't remember what this is for. I'm assuming it was for some sort of one of my budgets but I cannot remember so I'm not going to include that but um, it should be correct once I've done it so this is definitely that is definitely it that is my paycheck three check-in done and November check-in done with you guys <coughs> oh my throat is so bad 
uh, so thank you so much for watching this, um, uh, what was I going to say, um, yes, yeah, so I have a rollover on here of £206.70, 70 pence, which is actually what I allocated for the November budget. I allocated £206.70 pence left, and I actually still do have £206.70 pence in my account. Um, well, I don't at the moment because I've spent money on my um, fuel and food, but I'm going to put that back. So when I put that back, I will have £206.70p again. So I'm going to go and pay my credit card. I get paid tomorrow from my bank, so I'm going to actually pay my credit card tonight. Once I've gone and put this money in my account, and then I can get started with the next month and be on a proper plan um normally i take all the money out for my cash envelopes in one go and that's i think i think that's where i've gone wrong so um with regards to my budget for december i'm going to try and be be on track a bit more and take the money out weekly and keep an eye on how much i actually need because if i don't need the money there's no point taking it out but I can always put it into um, a like savers account, a fake savers account, um, just so I am saying that I'm going to still use it. And because obviously when I do my budget like uh, this one, when I do my December budget like I do this one, I always allocate my money for my cash envelopes and my fixed bins and my debts all in one go. So I have zero money left. But obviously, if I don't need to spend the budget is like 665 which i put here then i can save a bit more and it'll already be in my account so it'll be better for me so <coughs> i cannot wait for the new month to start but i am so happy that i've managed to get this tr this budget on track finally i've only been doing this since like may i've been doing it on here i think since like September, September, yeah, I think I did this from September, you saw the September one, which didn't look very nice, but, so from September on the, on the, the YouTube world, I've been doing it properly with you guys, but obviously I do budget every month anyway, I just thought I'd bring you guys along with me, so I'm going to go and put all this money here into my bank, uh, I won't be able to put this in, in my bank, I don't think, because I haven't got separate wallets for it, and I don't think that they're going to be very happy with me giving all of this in a certain change. So um, I haven't got no other little wallet things for it. So I won't be able to put all that in there. I'll have to put the coins and stuff in there. But the actual shrapnel change will have to go in next Monday when um, I have time to put it on the little bags and then go and take it to the bank. So and obviously this one here is for my fuel. So I can't spend that. So thank you so much for watching this, guys, and I promise I will get my new budget out with you tomorrow. Um, I get paid, obviously, tomorrow, as I've already mentioned a couple of times, so I am going to get that sorted for you, and then I can um, start afresh, because it's only going to be a four-week month that I get paid again, um, just after Christmas, but... Um, I'm saying um quite a lot today, I'm so sorry. So I will get that sorted out for you guys. But thank you so much for watching this video. And if you like it, please, please put a comment down below and like this video so everyone gets to see it as well. And that gets me on the little description on the sidebar so people can see my video as well. And as you know, I'm obviously a UK budgeter, so that helps me out, out so much. So thank you so much for watching this video and I will catch you on my November budget with you guys tomorrow. Love you, love you, bye.